Alright, if everybody else calls this meeting in order, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Anderson, Beta Present, Newby, Present, Holstein, Yaris, Ravish, Present, Kucher, Present, Seven, Present. Thank you. Thank you everybody for coming. Hopefully, it's an exciting day and our first day of school here. Not too exciting, but I have enough of that. Just, just the right amount. Uh, any additions, deletions, changes to the agenda? Mr. Chairman, Chairman, I'd like to take item, item all off the consent agenda and make it as item B on the non consent. Any, any other additions, decent changes to the agenda? All those in favor say aye. 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 It's all right. We need a motion first. Hold on. We'll move to approve the consent agenda. We'll move to approve the agenda. Put Bader Per and Yaris. Yeah. yeah. Let's try that again. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Thank you. Do we any comments on the agenda items? I'd like to address the board. Ms. Palmaville. I think it's just really want to address the language that I think you'll probably talk to today. Um, and I don't have any free liberal that last year. I mean, and no speaker can try out or reach your office. Today, I'm full. He's stopped. To check, talk to her, see how this year was going. She went over to your city and asked, Will you please bring out my picture? And he says, Have you done so good this summer? First day of school, he's like, Hop in, I'll give you a good picture. That's what we want. We didn't want someone new coming in every day because these tickets don't have Netflix. That meant every picture. That, that she, she worked, worked so hard to get what she needed to be that she could get a ride to these hospitals. It's really what I got to really think about connecting with the family with all this community. Thank you. Anybody else like to this? Mm -hmm. Chief 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 I, 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 I started here, here, I didn't wear glasses, glasses so <laughs> um, I, I, I did I want to also just, just talk about the contract a little bit. bit. Um, and, and by, by no means, um, with any, any bash against other law enforcement agencies, but, but I did want to express, express a couple things that I have talked to um, a couple of board members about. Um, and, and I would ask that you would uh, consider uh, tabling this um, um, until, until a different time. School started, started today, and it, and it was uneventful as far as the law enforcement cycle. So we were here, um, and we will continue to be here no matter what this board decides to do. And I've expressed that, and, and I think that everybody knows that you know, I have a, uh, I, I, I've enjoyed my time since 2007 here in Kent County, and, and the schools have been a really important part of our day to day assignments. So, um, but I would ask that we hold off on that um, and reflecting some of the conversations that I had with some of the board members and Mr. Bolchak, uh, I thought that we were still kind of in negotiations. Uh, I've been here since 2007, and as one board member had said, it went from a kind of a, uh, the school was kind of paying more of a donation to the police department, but it was here a long time for me. And we've had, from my understanding, a good relationship and a good service. And it's went way beyond the scope of uh, you're paying me to be here from this time to this time. Um, it's included, you know, after school activities, uh, events that we've had in the community, um, from calls on Sunday night uh, when we figure out something's going on with some kid the next day. And we've always been on it. And, and we will always continue to be on it because that's part of being a good police department. Um, but in reviewing uh, this contract, I just, you know, I would like to just mention a couple things that you might want to take into consideration. And also is, is my other, part of my other life is I'm a supervisor of a township that I have contract deputies. So I'm very familiar with reading these contracts and how they work. 
And in if at the end of the day, if you decide to go with them, you're going to get a nice person uh, by all means. But some things to consider, you know, 2021, uh, our contracts that we were getting for deputies uh, was approximately 100 and I think it was $110,000 a year. Uh, the price now for a full time, no, granted that you're not, you're looking at a couple months, not in the summer, um, but it went up to about 115000 And they have a uh, increase that you're going to get every year. And if you read through that contract, there's also additional 5% uh, charges that you get with that. Um, there's in no circumstances, one more oh, one more minute. Yep. Um, I would ask that when I get to that minute, maybe I could extend that for just two more minutes. It's it impossible. I, 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 yep. Um, but when you, when we get to the point where we're talking about dollar for dollar, I would just say that I don't think there's any circumstances that you're going to beat how much our price is for how much an outside agency is. Um, the thing that we're looking at here. It's not a full-time officer for this school. It's a full-time officer for the district. Um, if I'm correct, and I've been wrong before, but that will start from Bay City. That person's gonna start his job in Bay City, however they work it, whether they stop in Linwood at that time and then come to the school or come to the school and go back to Linwood, they're gonna be back in Bay City at 3.30 because that's the way it works. They have to get paid by someone. Um, you're going to, so realistically for your full-time district officer, I uh, make a motion with uh, Mr. Spencer to have three more minutes. Yeah. Well, good good support. Support. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. I to talk with her. <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, what are you really going to get out of that time? If you're looking at having 10 hours, which is a completely separate deal but 10 hours a week in Linwood um, you're gonna have a minimum of an hour drive a day for five days a week uh, we were providing a service for approximately 20 hours a week you're maybe gonna get five hours more a week so you're probably gonna get 25 hours a week feet on the ground if that's what you're looking to do depending on how you do it so just something to consider um, they uh, and also you know there's there might be some other expenses as far as you know if an officer has got to take a complaint they have to write a report um we've talked about this before we've been going back to our office to do our reports uh but somewhere that paperwork has to be processed right now unless they have an office like they have set up on the township they'll have to do that at a location they have them services so that's going to be an additional expense um lastly sorry about that I would just like to mention that, you know, this contract doesn't include the things that we already do. It's not going to include the weekends, it's not going to include the, the, the games, it's not going to include the events. You don't have any choice in who you're getting. You're going to get a decent person, I'm not saying that, but it's based on seniority. So you're going to get whoever decides to do that. If an opening comes in a different township and they decide they want to move out, you're going to get somebody else. There's a level of trust that we have in this community because our officers know the people that are in this community. Um, and, you know, customer service, it's a big deal, uh, especially when you're in the police law enforcement business. Uh, we pride ourselves on knowing who these kids are in this community. We pride ourselves that we have people that come to us and tell us about things that are happening. I don't know if you're gonna get that if you don't have somebody from the community. Um, my suggestion would be, one minute, my last thing that I would say, my suggestion would be is please consider tabling this and, and have some further discussions, whether it's a budget meeting uh, with the city and Mr. Kowalczyk or however you want to do that. You're going to get a couple more hours if you go with the full-time contract. You're going to pay more money. Um, if you're not going to have a full-time person in the school, you're going to have a part-time person. The whole reason we're talking about this is the biggest concern that we have in America, active shooters. Probably not gonna happen if somebody's standing. I agree. So you gotta have a full-time person if you're worried, if that's your concern. Otherwise, you just have a part-time person. That's the same service we're providing. Um, I would like to continue the coverage locally. Um, I would hope that you would take this consideration. And if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call on that. I don't think most of you got my number, so thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>
Anybody else like to address on the agenda items? Yes, Ms. Lincoln. Hi, I'm I'm Becky Lincoln, and I'm the city manager of Lincoln County. I just kind of wanted to elaborate a little bit um, on the contract. I've seen the contract. There's no figures. There's no numbers. I want to tell you what we're offering. We're offering 20 hours for 45,000. We're offering full time 40 hours, 72,000. Our hours are flexible. If you want 40 hours, you got eight hours a day to do whatever you want. If you want it to be two to ten because you have a football game that night, or you have you want 7 a.m. till three because you've got other activities coming in, we can do that. We can offer those things. We're two minutes away. Like Terry said, we're going to still be there anyway. Our officer was here today, and that's part of what we do. But I just think if I took this to my board and said, here, here's an open number, no number, it wouldn't go over very well. I think you guys need to have numbers. So I would like to sit down and negotiate. We didn't really get a chance to do that because it was, here's, here's our figures and that's it. So I would like to negotiate that. I think your better bet is with us. So I, I hope you do consider tabling us or at least setting up different options for um, sitting down to discuss. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Anybody else want to address more on the agenda items? Thank you. Consent agenda items A through K. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to approve the consent agenda and pay the bills at six hundred and forty-two thousand two hundred dollars and thirty-eight cents. Support. Motion and support. Any discussion? Roll call vote, please. Adafer? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Dubé? Yes. Holstein? Yes. Rabish? Yes. Yaris? Yes. Kucher? Yes. Seven zero. Motion carries. Thank you. Communication, Mr. Kowalczyk. Thank you, Ms. Kucher. Uh, I would first like to talk about the school resource officer contract um, that is on the um, agenda, the non consent agenda. Just a couple of things to go over what was given to you uh, with that contract. Um, the number, the total revenue at the end, $74,459, would be the top end of the contract if we went with the county. Um, you can see above that the other finance uses, $5,066. That's the true cost that they talked about could come off if they don't wreck a car or if they don't lose their gun, whatever it is. You know, as far as which they said normally that all comes back to us, but they put that on there just in case something did happen. Um, so that's the number, the 74459 for the 40-hour um, per week between Linwood and the Pinacon and Campus. Um, I did call today because I did want to get some information on the travel. Um, and it was told that they do start at 7.30 at their um, office for a quick briefing. And then what they suspect, um, mapping it out, they said it would be around a 20-minute drive to King County or a 10-minute drive to Linwood. So probably a half hour a day would come off of our time. I mean, that's an estimate. It, it probably could be between two and a half to four. I don't know what that would be. We'd have that why it's kind of a pilot to see what that would be with travel. But that's what he said. Each day there would be 20 minutes um, of travel to Penny County or to Linwood would be 10. But they don't charge for the time back? It is, well, they would leave and that's, they did say they would probably get to the Penny County at 750 if they left at 730 their office or they would get to Linwood at 740. Be done at 330 if they left Penny County, they would have to be at 310, they would have to leave and then from Linwood would be 320 and they would have to leave to be back in time to be done and clock out. So that time does come off ours, which, you know, I would say minimum um, would be two and a half hours a week. Could be more if they're leaving from Pink County and going to Pink County. If Linwood wasn't in the picture, then it would be a little bit more. So that is, um, that is in there as well. Um, I think that's the only additional information I had on this. Um, Are you envisioning on stopping at Linwood every day and then coming to Pink County? No. Um, I think that, and I did talk about that today also with the under sheriff, and they said that would be what you want if you want to do something every day, or if you want one day to stay in Linwood, do the whole day there, 
whatever, whatever we, we want, want. Whatever, whatever works for us. Um, for women with cooking and ironing, they said they would be up to work that hour. We wanted to work those hours. Is an officer going to be designated to respond to the middle school principal? She would be, yes. The time he is, is the resource. Yes, I think that would be where, if we have programs, if we have things we want to do within the district, that would be the point of contact. Yeah, that's what we had talked about. So there's you know, that one person saying things that we need, we would like, what we could do. And that would be no matter who the officer is. You know, that, that's one of our positions uh, for this. Either way. Any other questions on this? Okay. Um, school based health, health center, center meeting. meeting. We, we have, have a meeting after school today, or at school, after the board meeting, um, in here uh, around 6 30. And that will be, um, again, again, we had, had a meeting earlier where we did talk about it in the spring. I think it might have been early summer. summer. We, we had, had a meeting. And we'll, we'll do the same thing where there are, is handouts, flyers for parents, for any questions they may have to talk about this. And, and we, we are hoping to get, get this going in early 2024, beginning of the school year. And that depends on um, some construction at the health center that they would need to adjust a few things with rooms. And that uh, is looking to be grant funded as well. So that would not be, as long as that works, that would be uh, not on our tab. Any questions about the student based health center? I know we've been hearing about it for our few meetings, so the information will not be given to you. The safe, safe entry, entry, if you went out the library entry or exit, you can see that those doors are up. They worked on it last week, um, did a lot of work, and kind of sealed it in. Now they're waiting for the extra parts, some of the mesh things, the, the grates to go in there. Uh, and hopefully we'll be using that quickly where we can open up those doors between the library and those schools so they can go back and forth. Otherwise, they're locked and you can only get through at passing time. So if you get a chance to take a look at that, it looks good. Uh, Northern Bay Community Foundation grants. The cycle is open right now. Um, I have a couple of teachers that that is open for grants. Um, so just want to get it out there again publicly that those grants are available. They've helped us tremendously um, over the, the past few years, um, for many years. And the the last grant they helped pay for was the the display screen that's going up in Jim Lobby that's taking place of the old one that was over 10 years old and kind of, it, it ran out of its life. Um, so so that one is coming in and all the class pictures will be on it. There'll be videos, there'll be, um, we're separating more groups. We're going to have, it's going to have a lot more um, usability to it than the old one. So Northern Bay did a great job of helping us with that. Uh, peer, peer guidance, guidance and, and mental health, health services. This, this was approved last year, and I just wanted to talk about, about it again, of all the services that we have. Um, and, and it's a great service. We had, had some great comments with our surveys at the end of last year. All parents, parents were happy, happy that we had this available. Um, we have flyers that we've been going up with all the services throughout the year. We have one-on-one -on -one coaching where parents can sign up, and it's a virtual, uh, where there's Zoom meetings, so it's anonymous from your own house. No one else knows. It's, it's um, all the HIPAA rules apply, so your name is not out there with anyone. Um, mental health topics covered, covered in online anonymous Zoom sessions. And I do have the lineup for this year. I just want to read you quickly the... Um, the topics that we'll be covering. Supporting your child's mental health, emotional, emotional regulation, recognizing what's wrong, emotional reg regulation, uh, interrupting negative emotions, what parents need to know about suicide prevention, uh, de-escalating cycles of conflict, and substance use and vaping. So, so those will be brought all year where parents can bring from their own health home, 6.30 to 7 p.m., and then get a Zoom meeting and they can register, up, register for that. Uh, and, 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 and be involved, involved with those, they're really, really good. And then the, the parent guidance also has the on demand videos with hundreds of topics that parents can browse and say, That's something I need some help on. And you click it, and it's like a 15 20 minute video with experts uh, in that field. So, I want to make sure and get that out there, and you'll see some more of those flyers up and around uh, very shortly. Uh, soccer field, uh, I met with True Green today. Um, Mr. Huber and I also went out there after. Um, 
I didn't know he was coming, but I, I seen his truck, so I went out there and we walked the field. It is filling in there. It, it is looking better, and he did spray last week. Of course, it was uh, about five hours before the big storm went through. But you can still see a lot of the wilting of some of the weeds that are out there, so it did, it did take. Um, the plan moving forward right now is we do have some of those clumps of its grass, so the weed killer won't kill it, but it's a different type of grass, and it's a big clump that we're planning on doing the roundup on those and killing that. So you'll see some brown patches where those are dead. Uh, but he plans to um, spray within the next few weeks with weed killer and fertilizer and then reseed it. What did he call it? He called it overseeding to re overseed the whole thing again to get more grass growth in there. So uh, aeration also. He'll be aerating it as well. I know some people have talked about um, um, rolling it and they do not want to roll it because it compacts the ground and the grass can't grow as much. So that's why aeration is what we're doing right now. Um, we had a great first day. Um, things went smooth, which first days uh, tend to go smooth. People are very excited to be here. But I did want to thank our custodians and maintenance crew and transportation, just getting everything ready over the summer. You know, when, when a lot of us are home doing our vacation things over the summer, they're here working to make this place look great and, and be ready. And it was. It was uh, it was a great day. Um, we were we were excited. I did a visit the kindergarten uh, classrooms with their their pilot program where they met today with parents. A lot of smiling faces for parents and students. Uh, Mr. Sanford's going to do a survey to see what they think about that process if they like it or if we like want to go back to the old way. So, um, any questions about any of the stuff I did? You didn't lose any kids today. I mean, oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> We didn't move any kids. Um, these are just some of the numbers that we have. Now, this is from the count of last October to this time. So there may be some students that we have in here. I don't think this is actual butts and seats. It's registered as of right now. Um, but we have five in the diploma program versus what was eight last year. Linwood 111, um, and it was 130 at last year's first count. Uh, the Advancement Academy, 23 to 46, but here's the thing with that, the GSRP students don't start for another two weeks, I think, something like that, a week and a half. So they have time still to come in and register, so that number will hopefully be right back up there around the 46 or more. Uh, Central Elementary, 385 today, and it was 361 last year, so that's up 24. The high school, 396 to 387 last October, so that's up 9. Um, Middle school, 286 from 274 last October, so that's up 12. Um, and then we have our, we do get some FTEs for St. Mike's as well, and that's down from, uh, it was 98 last year, and it's at 67 this year. But I'm assuming that's some of the numbers that are up in our numbers, so I can give a take with that. So, thank you for reminding me, Mr. Bader. I hope that's the way you're, you meant about losing them, because we don't lose them. Yeah, it wasn't me. Really <laughs> I was wondering, maybe, you know, maybe no. somebody got lost. No, the <laughs> no that's, that's, everything was great. Uh -huh. Do we have any staff openings yet? We have a special education opening from a resignation last Wednesday. Um, that one, Dr. Braun is looking at options and what we can do because with most schools starting, that one's going to be a tough one to fill. We're going to keep trying, but, you know, have a backup plan in case we don't, how we, Make that work. That's uh, custodians, everything still. Ooh, no, 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 no. I was thinking teachers. teachers. Um, here with the GSRP. One at Central, two at GSRP, two at Central, uh, Cook at the high school, a couple of bus driver positions, and white truck. So a lot of our steel workers. That's great. Thank you. Thanks. Any other questions? Any other questions? All right. Thank you. Uh, other administrative staff. Who wants to start? Anybody? I don't have anything to say. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll be, I can be brief. All right. Um, 
Speaking of staff, we just actually hired recently a women's soccer coach. So uh, I don't know if we don't think said anything about that. So uh Kim Nessler, she's a college player and so we're excited to bring her in for that period. So we hired her. She was she um, she went to the Delta, Delta, I think she's from the Sterling area. Sterling area. Sterling area. So she lives in the district. She lives in the district now. now. Yes. So yep. yep. So Excited to have her on board. Um, yeah, it feels looking better, like uh, Andy said, no one's excited about that. Got bikes are on the way, on the way and actually started on say pretty good from, seems like, you know, last year. So it looks like the coaches are doing well so far. And yeah, we'll see how things go. First day was smooth sailing, and we're excited to, yeah, excited to kind of get the school year roll now. So, yep. Thank you. Any other administrator? It's just been a long day. One <laughs> the message we see. Uh, non consent agenda item A, new resource officer agreement. Do you have a motion or? Table. We have a motion to the table. Strong support. Any discussion? Um, I'd like to make comments. I did attend the city council meeting with Andy. Where he did address the city council. So we did, we did reach out. I think there's just some, there was some communication. We're not sure where that is, but by tabling this, I think maybe we can get past the communication. I hope. I would agree with that. I mean, this has been something I think we are working on in May, you know, as far as kind of negotiating and getting get numbers. So I, I'm i comfortable with, with where we're at now. Uh, but obviously, we have a uh, motion and we will. Is, no, this doesn't. This, this is we're talking about the high school part. So, uh, this this, part, this does, does affect the it affects, affects everything because this, this is the contract with the sheriff for both, for both So, so what we're what we're looking at is and, and I don't disagree. It, it's it'd be great to have our local officers in here, but regardless, we still need a sheriff down at Linwood. So you're looking at two contracts as opposed to one. The two contracts to do the forty hours. And then extend the sheriff is would be a hundred thousand eighty five in the city with the numbers, and then I think it was fifteen thousand for the sheriff down in Linwood. So you're looking at a total of a hundred thousand for that, whereas we're covering them both. And there's I guess less numbers because there's no crossover. You're looking at seventy four thousand five hundred. So this is a twenty five thousand dollar savings between the two. It's a lot of money, um, but again, but less time though. Yeah, uh, you could. Same yeah, whatever time they're, 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 they're split. Yeah. 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 So yeah I, originally, I, I thought it was they were going to have some of your employees in there. Yeah. Somebody else would go through their dollars. So. So it's a matter of you know making that work and whatever the pleasure is. I think we almost have uh, two issues here. We have the issue of how many hours we expected to have uh, an officer in the building, mm -hmm. and then the yeah. question is which department we're going to go with. Yeah. So I think we almost have to separate those two mm -hmm. issues. Mm -hmm. I think Andy probably needs some direction to make sure the board is in agreement that we want the LML officer, which is a change from what we were in the past. So you spent just doing the LML officer? We did a while ago. It was quite, quite a while ago. It, it was probably maybe 15, 20 years ago, not really long before you, right, that, that we had. And then we have been only for a small amount, but we did have, have a few that, that were the LML. LML. That's just something you need to consider. Make sure Andy has a good solid direction here. Just understand that when we delay this now, we're not going to have an officer in the school here. Well, yeah. So we'll be under contract. Appreciate that. But we do have one in Linwood because that contract is still We do have that approved. That was approved, the Linwood contract. Now this one would take care of that one. But as of right now, we should still have that one, yes. All right, any other discussion on this motion? Does anybody remember what the cost was, or did we even discuss it, if we went with the city for Pinkani and then got outside service for Linwood? Last year? Right. So the offer, correct me if I'm wrong, Andy, it's 45000 for 20 hours, where last year we paid 26, 25. Okay. And then to do a full-time city, was eighty five thousand for the forty, and then and then like did they say seventy two? Seventy two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So, so you know, I, I, I get, we can deal with that, and we definitely need to get something in writing. We have it uh, in writing from the sheriff. Um, and any further discussion? We'll call vote, please, on that. And then we're voting to table the school resource officer at this time. Okay. Yaris? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Betafer? Yes. Duby? Yes. Altstein? Yes. Rabish? Yes. Kucher? No. 6 1. Motion carries. B on the nine consent agenda? Is. I make a motion to accept the nomination of Chris as our business director. We have a motion. Reluctantly support. Reluctantly <laughs> support. And assume we have discussion on the matter, Mr. Mayor Persa. No, no, this hurt. No, you just want to make a storm. I will have. Uh, I guess I'd like to have plenty of discussion, but Chris, I, you know, I talked to you on the phone and thank you for your service. Uh, I think your personality was a great fit for our district and your professionalism is unquestionable. So you made us better and I appreciate you for that. And uh, I hate to see you go, but I wish you and your family the best. This is the decision that you think is best for them. May I? But. I agree, I agree that, that the support that, that you guys have given, given me has been tremendous. I, I have been able to be in conferences and say, <laughs> my boy supports me. That's, that's not, not true, true over there. Yeah. And, and because, because of that, that we've been, been able, able to work great as a team that extended through our unions. They have always worked, worked well with us. And I mean, really, really I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for you guys. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. I request a roll call vote, please. All right. Roll we'll call vote. Yaris? Yeah. Anderson? Anderson. Yeah. Beta Bird? No. no. <laughs> Goofy? Yeah. Holstein? Yes. Ravish? No. Kutcher? No. Unfortunately, yes. Good luck. Five, two. Motion carries. Thanks, Public comments. Anybody like to address the board? Any item outside the agenda or on? All right. Discussion item from the board. We're going to have a budget meeting this week to go over some stuff before she leaves so we can get it on. Ah, going. All right. Resigned to the G now. <laughs> <laughs> Any other discussion <laughs> items? Right. Take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Support. Motion to support. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Right. Motion carries. We are adjourned. Yeah.